It's basically a piece uh, explaining that um, it's black people's fault that the white people want to say the word nigger. <laughs> um, wonderful as it was, it's number three and it gets shredded. Hey! <laughs> She was robbed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Number one. <laughs> she had an anyway, a terrible thing befell Kathy because she, on visit my mosque day, went to street and mosque, hoping to be welcomed in with open arms. She was, she was respectably dressed, head covering, and shoes. But a short skirt. I'm a short skirt. I'm a short skirt. But unfortunately, for some reason, those heathens wouldn't let her in. Now, we later found out through CCTV that none of that was true, but none of the media really wanted to focus on that for some reason or another. No, she was ushered out. <laughs> <laughs> so for that reason, Kathy, um, sorry about whatever happened in your head didn't actually happen in your life, so we're going to have to shred you. Yeah. <laughs> Better luck next year, Kathy. <laughs> Is the Grace Dead piece about teenage girls who want to join ISIS oh, and chase yeah. the world of all their atrocities? They should leave and never return. And I remember when I read this, I was just like, I literally could not believe that someone would do something so dangerous and so damaging to young Muslim children, children, 15 year old children who are British, and they should just be abandoned to. Oh, I can't even describe how angry I made, it made me. And normally, because of my job, I don't tweet about stuff. But I started trying to engage her, saying, I'm really, uh, I can't understand how you can say this. You clearly have no understanding of radicalization, or not that I like that word, but it's so damaging to children who are British and who should be, come home. That should have been the message of your piece. So I am so pleased that this is number one and that we recognise that this was an appalling article full of racism and full of how Muslims don't belong in this country. Um, so yes, number one. Yeah. <laughs> 